and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about something I talked about recently on a previous video not too long ago and that's the new law that passed the Senate Senate in California for e-bikes and I want to talk a little bit about should that pass uh, and get signed into law by the governor what kind of an impact will that have not only on riders in California but this could spread to other states as well and become law and if it does how is that going to impact the e-bike world because I think it's going to have a quite an effect depending on how this gets implemented are we going to grandfather this in or is it going to be immediate right away because there's so many thousand bikes out there thousands of bikes that are class 3 let's talk about the class 3 and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about with this California e-bike law that was passed by the Senate it's basically changing the law for e-bikes that are class 3 they can no longer have a throttle that's pedal only to 28 miles per hour so what happens to all the bikes like the one I'm on now that can go 28 miles per hour and it's got a throttle uh, I surely can't see them saying that's illegal and all these bikes are out there you know and you can't ride them or you have to well I guess you have to have the throttle removed I just can't see that happening so does that mean anybody buying a new e-bike that's class 3 they won't get a throttle and they'll have to pedal only I mean that's going to affect those folks that are wanting a bike but are unable to pedal due to medical reasons is that fair to those folks to deprive them of a bike ride because they are physically unable to pedal but still want to get out and ride a bike no it's absolutely not so this in a word this law to me stinks I don't like it and I don't understand the difference between pedaling or throttling to 28 miles per hour what the difference really is like what what is the reason why you can no longer have throttle in their opinion on the bike if you're still able to go 28 miles per hour you're still going to go 28 miles per hour whether it's pedal or throttle so what's the difference what makes them want no throttling do they think it's more dangerous with the throttle than without the throttle you're still going the same speed so. let me know in the comments if you have an opinion on this what side are you on are you on the the no side that you don't like it or are you on the yes side that you like this that if you're going to have a class 3 e-bike you must pedal it so they deem the class 2 as fine right they're going to leave that the way it is uh, pedal and throttle 20 miles per hour your choice but that extra 8 miles per hour no 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 we can't do that you got to pedal that Well, my opinion is I don't like it and like I say if you've got a comment let me know in the comments below your opinion on this
and that's just right now for the state of California, right? It's not Oregon. And so I'm going to go ahead and since I have a throttle on my bike, I'm going to get it up a little faster than 20 miles an hour. The legal limit here is 28, class 3, but of course even here you can throttle to 20, but you have to pedal to 28. But you don't, you can still have a throttle on your bike. So since I still have a throttle on my bike, I'm using my throttle and I don't want a bike without a throttle. So I haven't seen yet whether it's been passed into law. I haven't, it's still sitting there for the governor of California to either sign it into law or not. And I really hope they don't. So let's see where this goes, this law. If it does pass, we'll have to see what, how they describe this law and how it's gonna work exactly. Because it's like I said, all the bikes that are already out there, I just can't see them doing anything with all those. So it's gonna have to be on any of the new, I assume it's gonna be on the new bikes that come out you know, they'll put a date on this as to when it officially begins and then any bike that's purchased after whatever the date is, but then how do you prove that you bought your bike before that date? You know, there's going to be so many I don't know, so many questions about how, how you prove something, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. If anybody has an idea on how this would be implemented, should it take place, maybe let us know in the comments below. But yeah, voice your opinion in the uh, comments below. I'd love to uh, hear from you. Either way, I mean, there's people on both sides of the fence on this. Some people love it because they don't think the bike should be going that fast but to me if it's a law and you can ride 28 miles per hour what's the difference whether you're throttling or pedaling why can't you do either one anyway we'll see where it goes all right well that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for supporting us. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time.
keep your wheels on the road. See you later.